So I have a super hot take on Star Trek and I thought of it because I saw a thumbnail that mentioned Dr. Pulaski um, from Renegade Cut, I think it was. And I haven't watched it because I, I don't feel like it at the moment. But fucking people hate me when I tell them this. Like, Star Trek fans instantly just don't want to talk to me anymore. But she's literally my favorite character in, uh, in The Next Generation. And no one can understand it. And I honestly don't know why people hate her. Uh, the thing that I always hear... Damn, computer sleeping. Is that she's like a bitch or something. Which was kind of the point. I, I honestly, like thought she was such a great character because she just did not give a fuck. Like, it's like the episode where she's introduced. Like, she's she's kind of just has this air of, you know, like a lot of doctors have, especially older doctors, where, like, you know, they think they're smarter than you. And, you know, because a lot of times they are. Um, but I, I thought she came across as a real doctor. And I, I don't know what the hell that video's about, by the way. It, it sounded like... It, like, the thumbnail said something like, Dr. Pulaski is good, actually, so I guess maybe he's a fan, too, of her, and I'm not sure if his points are going to be the same as mine, but I always thought that Crusher came across more as a therapist than a doctor. Like, she didn't really have that air of confidence. She was always really, like, soft-spoken, and she, she just didn't come across as, like, a medical doctor in the way that Pulaski did. Like, Pulaski, I totally bought her. Like, she, she totally just seemed like a like someone who's been a doctor for years and doesn't take any guff from anyone. And uh, yeah, I, I liked her a lot. And I also thought the actress was really cool. And I, I never really understood the hate. I also liked how she added some tension. Like everyone gets along so well in that series, which is fine. I know they want a lot of the drama to be from outside the ship, but it, it's just a little too cozy. And she shook it up a little bit. Where, you know, she didn't really respect Data. And by the way, she has an actual character arc where she kind of does come around, you know, in season two. Where she does kind of, like, change her mind. And she starts respecting him a little bit more. Which is kind of how character arcs are supposed to work. Like, people are supposed to change a little bit. And, you know, it, it kind of makes her character more interesting to me. Uh, yeah, and, and also, like, just kind of the tension she added. You know, like, she kind of didn't immediately respect Picard in the way that maybe he thought he deserved. Um, she dismissed Data. She got along with the other ones, I think, fairly okay. I might be not remembering something exactly, but, you know, I haven't seen, like, all the episodes of season two in quite a while. I should probably watch some of them. I I've watched some of them in the last, like, year or something, but not all of them. Um, but, yeah, I, I never really... I, I always kind of was so annoyed with the Pulaski hate because... Sometimes it kind of seemed like people were just sort of repeating it. I, I gotta be honest. Like, some people probably were indifferent to her. Uh, and instead of just being like, oh, I like Crusher more. I like that character more. They have to act like Pulaski's the worst thing ever. And she's, like, uh, like just, just so horrible in every way. And usually when I ask, it, it's, like I said earlier, it's just they claim that she was kind of mean to Data. Like, that's usually the thing people bring up, was that she was mean to Data, and I just... You don't have to like every single thing about a character to appreciate the character. I mean, like, there are villains that you like, you know? Like, people you love to hate. Like, you don't have to agree with everything. I mean, you're not, you're not supposed to. Like, sometimes there's a character doing something bad, and they're a fascinating character, but they're not necessarily a good person in every single way. So, yeah. Uh, seeing that thumbnail just made me think about Pulaski and how whenever I tell people she's my favorite character from that series, I, I, I literally think people want to punch me in the face. And, um, yeah, so there you go.